Rel versus Tom Kench. That's such a weird support matchup. I think Rel's actually good into Tom Kench, right? Because he can take off the shield. Oh, yeah, it's all good, Hypno. Yeah, never uh, never feel bad about asking questions in the stream. Like, I'm completely okay with that. I'm never going to make fun of somebody for not knowing something. That's just stupid. There's still things on League that I figure out to this day. Like, that I just randomly figure out that I didn't know. Like, I didn't know Gwen's W gave her armor and MR when she used her W. I literally just learned that, like, recently on the patch note. Because they tuned it down a little bit. Alright, let's try to play well this game. Let's try to play better than last game for sure. Let us see Hopefully Jax doesn't buy a Warden's Mail. Some of them do, some of them don't. Ooh, he's pulling the wave already. When they pull the wave, it makes the melees usually focus on one minion. He kind of messed it up a little bit, so he should be fine. But it can make you miss a minion if you're leashing. It's a good strat if the other guy's leashing. What will you do to survive? Tell me. So he's going Corruption Biscuit, no bone plating. It's a nice jack skin. That's another champ that has really good skins as Jax. All of his newer skins look so good. Wow, first blood on the Kench. Very nice. Should try to get this wave push because we might get ganked pretty soon here if I stay pushed up. Oh, never mind. Viego's bot. Either way, I'm still going to go for a callback. We might as well. It's a good time to reset with the wave right here. And I would say Jax is a pretty pretty heavy scaling matchup. So, call's nice. Helps you get to that two item spike quicker. You get to your first item spike a little bit slower, but you get two item quicker. Which is going to be pretty nice. Definitely Cleaver in this matchup. He gets a lot of armor from his uh, ulti. And they usually get Tabby Rush as well. I don't know if I'm going to do... We'll see what he builds. He's probably going to go Divine. Which makes Ty Titanic a little bit worse second. So probably Cleaver Eclipse in this matchup. I'm thinking. If I'm doing well. We could also try the... Uh, no, I don't want to do that, actually. Never mind. I was going to say maybe the Cleaver Frostfire Grudge, but if he goes Divine, it's going to be really bad on the T-Item Spike. I don't want to limit test too hard. It's really weird on this durability patch. It really did change a lot of the matchups. I feel like I have been limit testing a little bit too much lately. But the matchups like just feel different. They're just tankier, I guess. Such okay, it looks like he actually went for the back here. Missed out on a cannon minion. I wonder if he got XP on that. Oh, Frozen Mallet. I do remember that item, yeah. I built it sometimes on Urgot. It wasn't like a every game buy. But I did build it sometimes. If I like really wanted to kite people out. I'm kind of glad that item's not in the game nowadays. Because I feel like range, like ADC's top lane would just abuse it, I feel like. Like back in that time, I... I think it did have a range penalty, but not a, not a lot of people played like ADC top lanes, so they didn't really abuse it like it would be nowadays, I feel like. Oh, 
I tried to get an E off there. He does have a better build than I do right now. We're sitting on a decent chunk of gold here. Ooh, nice. I wanted to get that PTA proc in. Get him some good damage on him. Looks like Vega's at Wolves. Not a cannon wave. I might stay here if he pushes up. Let's see what he does. Whoa. So easy to sidestep that Urga ulti, man. I should have waited for my E. Nice. I think I should just reset. Cause the wave's gonna stack and push to me slowly, and he's gonna it's gonna force him to TP back. Yeah, this is good. All right, not too bad, dude. We got a 20 CS lead just about, solo kill on him. Got some really nice trades on him there, too. Dude, this is so enjoyable playing against somebody that doesn't just rush a Warden's first item. This is so nice, man. I swear, like, seven of my last ten games I've just been against Warden Rush. It's so nice being able to actually, like, interact with the lane. It's actually so fun, dude. I get to see a gifted. And I'm running a PTA Jibber Crab. Got the E buffer, we're fine. He does have a Sheen. Yeah, here's my runes, by the way. My first time trying out the secondary page against uh, Jax, by the way. So I'll give you my input on that after the game ends. Approach always just feels nice though. I've been really liking this rune page, unless you really need bone plating. Like I think into stuff like Ribbon and like Renekton, I'm still gonna get bone plating. But if you don't need bone plating, this rune page feels really good. He's gonna jump out. If he can kick him to me. Sweet. Got his flash. His counter strike was coming up any second there, by the way. I'm pretty sure he's like literally one second off that counter strike. He has no TP. We can probably triple plate here. Actually, let's do double plate. I want to get a good back timing here. Get back to the lane a little bit faster. You know what? We're going Swifties. It works out for my gold. The only thing I could do there is sell Biscuit for a longsword. And then I'm like still sitting on quite a bit of gold. So this isn't like super ideal for the game, but it's ideal for my back right now with the amount of gold that I have. And we might be able to press our lead a little bit more too with the extra movement speed. 20 seconds on the grind day. Honestly, good chunk. And we get him to use a control ward. That's not bad. Seventy-five gold down the drain. 
Plus I get 30 gold if I kill it. That's actually kind of value. Hey, I'm doing pretty good, Butterbee. Whoa, he didn't back. This is the only truth that matters. A weapon aimed at your head. I do want to be a little bit careful when he has his passive stacked up like that. Because if he jumps on me with full passive stacks, he can take a really good trade. Could have actually maybe rimmed on mid there on the cannon wave. I'm thinking this guy's going to try to back then. We can maybe get a play out of it. He's got to be sitting on a pretty decent chunk of gold. Dude, we get a double play out of it. That's huge. Twelve hundred. Is it cannon wave? Honestly, everybody's bought. I'm gonna stab. If he does back here, he misses another wave, and we maybe get that plate. Actually, he might TP. He doesn't TP, we get this for sure though. I would let that wave die off, but I need to get a good back time. It looks like it still dies to the minion wave anyway. You know, honestly, since we're doing so good, I, I'm actually just gonna go Titanic. We should be fine even though he's going Divine. We have too much elite, too much of a lead, I think. Is Cleaver first nowadays, or just for the Jax matchup? Been a long time since you played Ergot. I go Cleaver first every game now. I think on the durability patch, it's really good. People are just too tanky now. I was honestly doing Cleaver a lot in the, like, before the durability patch, first item in most of my games. I really just like it better as a first item. I think I have a command for it if you do exclamation point Cleaver, but there's a lot of fat, there's a lot of factors of why I think it's better. Might be a little bit risky, yeah. This is gonna be a 4v3. Dang, why do they have a rise ulti? That's so good. TCS on the call too. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to TP back probably. I really wish I could sell my call here. Your team has destroyed a turret. I think we'll do that for now, actually. He's gonna have Divine Sin. When do I use Inspiration over Resolve? Uh, I only get, I'm only going Resolve if I need Bone Plating right now. So matchups like Ribbon, Renekton. 
That's about it off the top of my head. Your team has destroyed a turret. Wonder if I can go for a Shelly solo. They do have vision. Oh, they got a lot of vision. It's my W. My W is gonna go on Shelly if I use that. gonna try to carry this one did I get a thousand gold off somebody oh my god I did off the Viego holy moly I did not know he was that fed actually nice good play dude also that Samira W like literally tanked my FPS there that ability is kind of OP Yeah, I'm hoping we can do this and still make it over to Drag. It's going to be really close. I think we can, though. Alright, let's make our way over. Well, there's my Titanic. That was quick. Leaning towards a Sunfire this game just for the tenacity, but we'll see. I'll think about it more later. Let's focus on this drag fight for now. I don't know if we're going to be able to fight with Twitch down now, are we? Tom Kench to run in and save me there. That sucks I missed the E. I think we should have just backed out though. That's too hard to contest when we're down a person. Whoa, very nice. Okay, that's what we need, dude. I need somebody else to get some kills going. I'm too much of the team right now. What's the reason I built Mythic so late? Uh, cause Legendaries are just stronger on her gut. Alright, the team is actually coming online. Yeah, I usually go Mythic, uh... I, I usually go Mythic third item, sometimes even fourth item these days. If, like, Grudge looks really good, for example. Yeah, I know I still have my call. I'm saving it until I need to sell it for, like, something better. I would rather have call over, like, a magic mantle. So until I can sell it for this, I'm just keeping it. Because it does give me a decent amount of heals and a little bit of damage. no stopwatch that's actually smart they're sending the res to deal with me rather than the jacks
2200. I can sell my coal. We need 200 more. Get in the grinder, dude. Alright, there's my Sunfire Gold. We actually get to keep the coal, too. Glad I didn't have to use my flash there, either. It's pretty value. Actually, yeah, dude. We should Baron. I'm down. I got a pick on Viego. They got no smite. I think we just rushed this. Once my Sunfire stacks up, we're going to do really good burn damage to Baronier. I can't even circle around this thing because I'm getting creep blocked so hard. Oh, I was going to E-Flash. Oh wow, I still got the grinder off. Nice, that was sick, man. Feeling very beefy in the team fights right now. I want to keep this minion wave alive as much as we can. Are they really going to chase all the way? Alright, we're going to run back to turret then. We'll still make it to drag. Alright, not too bad, dude. Next item is probably going to be Sterex. I was going to try to fit a Grudge in this build, but I don't think I can since I had to get a Chainsword. I don't want to be frontline. Dude, what a team fight, man. Once I get that fear, it's just team fight over. That was beautiful. I think it's going to be a little bit better to upgrade a Executioner into Chainsword now, because they buffed it up pretty good. They buffed the damage by like 10 and then the ability haste as well. If they have a lot of healing, I think it's more value to actually upgrade that now rather than just sit on it. And then also another, another legendary item for your Mythic passive too. Dude, my W is just shredding them. We had 900 damage on the Sunfire. That's actually really good for building at third. You build the full Executioner? I think it's better to now. I don't know about every game, but I think if they have a lot of healing, it is better to actually upgrade it now. Because basically they, they, they did the same thing with Thornmill too. Like the upgraded components they made way better. But the Executioner and Bramble are like still the same, right? So they're trying to incentivize people to actually upgrade them now. I think we had really good synergy with that Lee Sin. Dang, S plus for that game. Nice, dude. 22.2k damage. 8.1 CS, 8 CS a minute, too. That's really good. What was my turret damage? 
Dang, almost 10k terror damage, too. Dude, approach feels so nice in uh, team fights. That's where I've really been liking approach. I mean, honestly, it feels nice in lane, too. Like, if you get a grinder, like a Q, you can actually go for ease. GG's. Freed by chains.